Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. Whether you think our TechFlow videos are bad, good or indifferent, we're going to show you how we make them. Let's get into it. So the keen-eyed of you will have seen ad on the thumbnail of this video and you've clicked on it thinking, Alex, this isn't you saying how you make tech flow videos with the team here. What's going on? This is just, this is just some scripted advert. Hold your horses. Kingston have been a massive sponsor for TechFlow and are for the next up and coming months. We are really happy to have them on board, being re represented by an absolutely outstanding company. Let me tell you guys this, all the products featured in this video and all the products we are doing work with for Kingston are products that we know and love and already used before Kingston were even introduced to us as a sponsor. Hence why there's legitimately Kingston appliances super glued, super glued under our desks. So it's awesome having Kingston on board sponsoring the channel. The last Kingston video we did, we actually gave away 10 memory cards. So those winners are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll receive your memory cards shortly. Now, step one in recording the tech flow videos. Pretty much, well, all videos start with lighting. So it's a good place to start. Having powerful lights or a lot of light in your image, whether that be natural or plugged in lights like we're using here, it allows you to lower down the f-stop on your camera. So as well as having a lower f-stop, you can also lower what's called the ISO on the camera. Now, if you're in a dull lit, uh, scene, then you're going to want to have a high ISO so the camera lets in a lot of light and it can actually see. But if you light your scene well with either natural light coming through a window or with some soft boxes, you can have a lower ISO, which results in a much cleaner, less noisy image. So, in short, more light, blurrier background, crisper image. Good start. Once we've got our two soft boxes set up, it's time to get the camera out. So sat on top of our Manfrotto fluid head tripod is the Sony A6500. Now we use one of two lenses. We'd either use a, a 10 to 18 millimeter or a Sony 28 millimeter. And actually sometimes if we're daring a little bit, we'll actually put on this thing. This is an Omnimite adapter. And this allows you to put on a Canon lens onto a Sony body. And if we're gonna use a Canon lens, we're gonna use the Sigma 18 to 30. 35 millimeter. What a lens. We then take the Rode microphone off top of the hot shoe on the camera, connect it to an extension cable, and then plug it in again. Why do we do this? Well, getting the microphone closer to my mouth when it's speaking will yield a better sound and hopefully drown out background noise. We also go as far as, well, putting a carpet down below to make it not echo in here. This room echoes quite a bit. All these products and all of this is in the description, along with everything else that's going to be featured. And then we hit record. Hello and welcome to the show. So once we've recorded the video, well, it's time to um, take out the memory cards from the cameras and get that over to the editing desk. So the cards we use in both of our cameras, the Sony A7S Mark II and the Sony A6500, they are made by Kingston. And they are the, well, the SD-XC variant because the SD-XC variant only works in these cameras because they record in 4K and need a, um, a very high read uh, and write, more, more specifically a write speed. Um, so that is why we use these cards. We have 256 in cards in this one and this one. And then very rarely, but sometimes we film here on TechFlow with these little portable action cameras, GoPros, or if we need a drone, the drone is here. And these use obviously micro SD. That was springy. These are the SDCA3s from Kingston. And these are the SDA3s. From Kingston that live in 
these bigger cameras and this one is currently being written to one of these cards. Once we're done shooting our main portion of the video, getting all the audio down, we're making a mental note in our heads about what B-roll, if applicable, we need to get for the shoot. To shoot this B-roll, we use this big tripod thing and slider setup made by Manfrotto. So as you can see, we have a very, very fluid slide there and then this is a video head here so you can see how stable that is. Unfortunately this tripod we went a bit overkill. This is far too big for the A7S. It's very heavy and very bulky. We should have got a smaller one um, but it does the job for this slider and you can get some absolutely awesome, awesome tilt and slide shots like this. Moving this forward and tilting the camera or moving this backwards and doing a slide and a tilt. You can do three movements. Again, all the equipment in the description if you want to buy it. So once we have filmed the main segment of the Tech Flow video, got any B-roll, if applicable, and collated all of that footage on the memory cards, it's time to bring it over to one of the two desks, preferably the editing desk, and get the footage imported. Underneath each desk is the HS4 from Kingston. Now we have these super glued under this desk, the editing desk, and if you follow me down here, we've got one super glued underneath this desk. Now the reason we've super glued these under the desk is number one because they are super, super reliable memory card readers. I've never had one die for me. I have one of these at home as well. They're super glued under there, they're not gonna move, and they just look super sleek. Just coming up to the desk, putting in your memory card, and the underneath mounted um, memory card reader is just absolutely awesome. They connect to your PC, uh, USB 3 via USB, come with a nice lengthy cable to do so. Then we import all of our footage. So memory card goes in the memory card reader like that, and literally in a second it'll come up on the screen. Copy all of our files. And there you have it, we're copying over almost 90 meg a second. How can you argue with that? When we are on the go making tech flow videos, we use this MLG4, yeah, Major League Gaming, MLG4 memory card reader. Again, exact same spec as this one, pulling in those 90 meg uh, uh, read and write speeds, absolutely uh, astonishing speeds. Plug them into a USB-C uh, cable for this USB-C Mac straight into there and boom. And also if you watch my vlog channel, this is how I import my vlog footage every day. It's the fastest way I've ever done it. So once all the footage is imported, it's time for Jed to go ahead and do his magic. We're using Adobe Premiere 2017 CC. We render out in 4K at 45 megabits a second, one pass render, and then we upload that fire to YouTube. So that, guys, is how we create our tech flow videos. If you have any tips or anything you think we could do better or you have any recommendations, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you think we're doing something wrong, let, yeah, just let us know. We'd appreciate it. And we want to make things faster here at Tech Flow uh, so we can pump out more videos for you guys. We well, hope you've enjoyed this video guys, thank you to Kingston for sponsoring this episode, sponsoring the channel in general, you guys are awesome. My has been Alex, you guys have been awesome. We'll catch you in the next one. Funky, 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 funky.